Hey guys, it's Fuber Dudes, and today we're going to be taking a look at the Transformers Generations Combiner Wars Air Raid. Now, um, I did mention in my previous review that I do technically have Drag Strip. Here he is. I'm not going to be reviewing him. In fact, he's on the market on eBay because I'm not getting the Stunicons. I got him with the package deal that's um, at Big Bad Toy Store, so if you want that, I'll get put down the link in the description below. But, like, for some reason, they swapped these two in the waves, and that kind of made me, I, I, not not mad, but kind of like, what the heck is going on? So, anyway, I'm not going to be reviewing him, but if you want to see him up close, there you go. Yay, drag strip. I won't be reviewing him. But, anyway, Air Raid, um, I decided to review him instead of... Um, drag strip in this uh, wave. I'm he was technically in the second wave, but I'm including him with all the first wave characters. So I'm um, taking a look at the box. You got um, a nice comic book back here, which I'm kind of excited to read. I th um, I don't think he comes with a collector's card, which I'm actually kind of happy about because I think I like the comics better. But um, anyway, you got him right there. Obviously, you got Air Raid and the artwork um, double or the cover of the comic book doubles his artwork so coming to the side you can see superion one of five i don't know why he's one of five but sure um 11 steps you got um a good shot of his robot mode and his vehicle mode and um he's got a long bio so i don't know how well you can see that but if you'd like to read it you can pause it so there is that and um you can see the grid work of Superion here, and then all these guys. They replaced Air Raid, with, or Drag Strip with Air Raid, obviously. So, um, on this side, nothing. You got nothing. On the bottom, you got the, um, the authentic stamp, so this guy is not a knockoff. So, I believe that's about it for the box. So, without further ado, let's review this guy out of the box. Okay, so I've got this guy opened up, and we're ready to review him. And first, before I forget, um, he does come, instead of the collector's card, as I said earlier, he comes with this comic book, which is actually kind of a cool comic book. It kind of goes through stuff on Cybertron. It's not all about the aerial bots, but it has a lot of cool things going on in here. And um, all the way to the end, actually, this is really cool. It shows you um, a lot of different things. Like here, I don't know how well this is coming off on camera. You can see the sketch phase, which I think is really cool. It's showing you the process of... Um, of creating these toys and then the gray model phase that's just like them without their paint scheme and then um, that's just like them adding paint apps and whatever and that is the finished product and so I just think that's really cool and then on the back you have an extended bio so if you want to read that I'll scroll slowly Sorry if it's not focusing. And there we go. So that's the comic book. So anyway, coming to Air Raid here, he looks really good. I mean, um, he's supposed to be an F-15, but he's kind of more of like, I don't know what kind of a model plane this is, but I know it's not an F-15. So it's really cool, actually. I do rather like it. And um, again, you got all this junk down here, but that's always going to come with the aerial bots. But anyway, I just really think that this guy looks really cool. And he does come with a few weapons. Um, this is just a remold or repainted, I should say, um, um, skydive gun. And you can just pick it onto the hole on top here. And that doesn't look too bad. I'm probably not going to do that. And then you have his hand foot gun, which you can do that. But again, I just think that's utterly ridiculous. So I'm not even going to try. And um, I don't know, just really cool paint scheme. Um, you got the nice gold and red and then the Autobot logo is just really, really cool. So, um, to get him into shot with his other buddies, here's Firefly, moving them over, Skydive, getting Alpha Bravo in shot here, and finally, Silverbolt. Really, really cool looking team. I really do like the way that these guys look together. So anyway, there's that, taking all these guys back off camera. We're going to get into the transformation into limb mode. Okay, so what you want to do first is, taking him here, you can unpeg this whole section, just leave it like that. Rotate his head all the way around. <clears throat> Excuse me. Untap his legs. 
so you can rotate this all the way around and just close it back up so everything's kind of clean in there and then you can just plug this in to the side or the back on right there just like all the other ones there are two things you can do with the fins um you can see these fins they're all rubbery and stuff you can fold them down like so or putting them back up here the other option you have is you can just put these up like that and i'm probably going to do that and with the wings you can fold them up you can put them in all sorts of different configurations I just like to leave them like this, or even this. Actually, I might do that, because that's more closer to the G1 toy. But, um, it's just all personal preference. And then taking the hand foot gun, there's a peg down here. I like to display him like this. Just like the old G1 toy, but the correct way to do it, according to the instructions, is like this. So, again, everything is just personal preference. But, for me, I'm just going to leave him like that. So, um, to get him into arm mode... Um, you just want to untap his leg, or arms, excuse me, and then just leave him up like that. Um, untapping all the legs and just folding up the wings so we have room here. It transforms the same as every single other one. So, just folding this back here, closing this back up. Tabbing this back together. Um, with the wings, I'm, I'm never going to display them in arm mode anyway, but if I did, I'd probably leave the wings up like that. So, what you do with the arms is you take them and then you rotate them. And then there are little holes right here that uh, go into that tab right there, just like that. So that's what you do with the arms. And then rotate this. Um, I'm just going to make him a right arm. And so taking the hand foot gun, what you want to do with that is rotating this. You can rotate this whole assembly like so. And taking the fingers out, it's the same on every single one. So oh, that's the wrong side. There we go. So there we have that, and then one thing I did forget to do is um, flipping this up, you want to rotate this like that so it doesn't have visible head syndrome, and then just plug this on like so. So yeah, you get the picture. Um, never going to do this with him, I'm, I'm classic and I like to put him in his leg mode, so that's what I'm going to do. But anyway, to get him into robot mode from here, it's not that hard at all, just split apart the legs, fold this back up, rotate the head, and you're not seeing this, so I'll raise my camera, and then untab the arms. And there, again, the instructions tell you to do this with the wings, but I don't like that. I like to put them down and kind of, I kind of like to flare them out a little bit like that. I think that looks really cool. So, um, yeah, there he is in robot mode. And, um, I think he's really cool. I think that he looks really good for, um, a, ha a regular Hasbro figure. I just think this guy looks really good. And, um, for his weapons, you can take this white gun, which I actually really like, and I might, um, display it on him all the time. You can put that right here. And taking the hand foot gun, putting it in gun mode, just rotate this piece down and then put this back up. You can put stuff, his guns, on the side of his arm just like that because there's there are ports on the side you can see right there. Again, I don't like these hand foot guns as guns. I just think it's ridiculous, so I'm never going to do that. But anyway, I think he's my new favorite. I'm sorry, Skydive, but I think you've been replaced by Air Raid. I, I really like this guy. The color scheme is just amazing. The little red details, all that stuff is just really good. And then the contrast of white on black, that just sells it for me. And then the stripes, ah, I just love the paint on this guy. Just really, really cool. So for a size comparison, setting him back here. Here is Firefly, a.k.a. Firefly, and I didn't transform his tail fin all the way. Here is Skydive. And yeah, I'm really torn between those two for who I like the best. Here he is with their leader, Silverbolt. Raising the camera up a little bit. I'll try to move back so I can get Alpha Bravo in here. And here is Alpha Bravo. And the team is complete. Sort of. Um, I did order the quick slinger figure which is um hasbro's version of slingshot because apparently i don't think they have um the rights to his name so anyway i ordered him but i still can't uh hate on alpha bravo i think he's an excellent figure so maybe you can use him for the combiner was optimus prime like the discarded figures that people don't really like <laughs> like off-road and rook and alpha bravo here but Anyway, I kind of feel bad for Alpha Bravo because not a whole lot of people like him, but he's such a good figure. I'm really glad that they used him for Blades, though. Just really good mold. But anyway, really good looking team. Holy cow. I, I for, for what this is supposed to do, it just 
blows my mind how cool these guys are. I don't know. I, I just, I, I really like what Hasbro did with these guys. And his Superior review will be coming up very soon, so you'll get to see that. So, taking everyone off here. First, Silverbolt. And then the rest of you guys. And um, back to Air Raid, just such a cool figure. Really, really like the guy. I, I, I can't believe just how how cool of a figure he is. So, um, if you want to get this guy on, I'll give you a link in the description for Big Bad Toy Store. Or, um, I actually got this from Amazon.com, and it's actually a lot cheaper there than, like, eBay and stuff. Because on eBay, I've seen this guy go for, like, $40. So I just think that's outrageous. So I got him for about $20, so I'll put a link in the description below. I think the one on Big Bad Toy Store is sold out, but you never know if they're going to come out with a, a restock or whatever. So I want to thank you guys for tuning in. This has been Fubu Dooge. Please subscribe, check out some of my other stop motion videos, uh, check out our Facebook page. And um, also, you can check out some of the other reviews, which um, if you search my channel, they'll be so easy to find. So again, I want to thank you guys for tuning in. This has been Fubu Dude saying, keep playing, guys.